Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is a special birthday video for Green, aka Gunstar Hero 21. Happy birthday, Green, lols. And he requested I do this. I do a let's play of all three Tournament Fighter games, the NES Genesis and SNES versions. And it's been a few years since I last did a birthday video for Green. I did one 2009 and 10. And so now I'm doing it again this time because he requested it and so here we go so hopefully green you enjoy this hopefully it's lulzy or whatever so uh just a little birthday present and so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do some quick lps of all three of these games i've played this one before and i'm going to start out with the nes version right here as you can see i played this a while back briefly and I was like, Psh, forget that, this sucks. But I'm going to give another chance here. And, yeah, so Termit, Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters for the NES. Um, I never knew this existed for many, many years. Two years ago I found out it was for the NES. I only knew of the Genesis and SNES versions. I'm like, what? For the NES? But, alright, so here we go. And they use a cheat right here, where you can pick the other three characters in the game in story mode. So I am going to be Casey Jones going up against Leonardo. And you don't see too many tournament fighting games in the NES, so this is definitely weird. Ooh, German suplex right there. And I'm going to be mainly doing button mashing throughout this LP because I was never good at these games. This one right here, though, I never played as a kid so I'm gonna mash buttons here and I'm trying to remember what uh, how this game looks like because uh, I did pr again I played it briefly a few years ago and I, okay I do remember Master Splinter's uh, whatever the heck that was a blimp a picture of Master Splinter a little balloon dropping I guess energy or, or power-ups at you and I just failed right there come on Casey Well, like, come on, Ronnie, because I'm the one failing right here, and... Let's see, I'm mashing buttons right here, just <laughs> try to figure something out. That's how I got good at Street Fighter, actually, when I was a kid. I just kept on mashing buttons. Then I eventually figured out the right way to do the special moves, and, man, I'm just getting pwned right here. I smash the splinters, power-up thing, whatever the heck that is. If I can get it, but Leo's in the way. Dang it, he's got it. Wow. Good job. The heck was that? Who keeps whistling at the end of every round? Alright, so let me continue here. Gonna pick someone. Who's that? Master Splinter? You can't hardly see their faces for some reason down there. Hothead? Who? Who the heck is Hothead? That's like Leatherhead on steroids or something. Who's Hothead? Let me try to figure him out. Whoa! Just chunked Leo across the screen right there. Of course, Konami has to do this. They did the same thing with Monsters in My Pocket. Monster in My Pocket for the NES. They had to put the logo on the bottom of the screen to remind you what game you're playing. Jeez, there we go. Nice. Come on now, do something. Man, I'm getting pwned right here. Jeez, really? That's ridiculous. He got perfect on me. Really? 
<laughs> Shut up. Do something besides a stupid double punch, whatever the heck it is you're doing. Wow. I know I'm playing this horribly here, but at the same time, I mean, I can really see why I never heard of this game. I've never heard of this version of Tournament Fighters. Let me get this power up here. See what I can do. Okay, just throw the ball back at him. I thought it was a power up. I, what the heck is that? Nice. All right, you almost got him. Nice. Facing Raph. Whoa, bomb the screen's glitchy right there. Power up, come on. Get it. Ah, oh, jeez, he blocked it. Come on, you almost got him. Oh, nice. Alright, I'm just gonna skip to Shredder here. I wanna use freaking Shredder. That's what I'm talking about. So, Shredder versus Casey Jones right here. Oh, man. I guess this is his stage, a bar, a pirate bar, or Pirates of the Caribbean bar, what the heck? Nice! Oh yeah, I think Shredder's definitely the best character to use in this game. Nice! And was that Splinter thing about to give Shredder a power-up? That's ironic. Alright. Yeah, and Shredder's dressed the same as it was in the first Ninja Turtles game wearing red. I guess that's how the comic book Shredder... Yeah, that's right. The, I think that's how the comic book Shredder looked like and I think that's how it looked like in the first movie, if I remember correctly. So Shredder's gonna get some revenge here because Casey Jones basically murdered him, I think, in the first movie, if you remember, after he fell in the dump truck from off the roof, off the rooftop. <laughs> he, like hit the trash compactor and it uh what well, did really murder him of course Shredder was still alive after that in part two but yeah so Casey Jones decided to get like I guess to get the last laugh by I guess trying to crush him in that uh dump truck and Shredder just came back and crushed him now it's Shredder versus this idiot wherever he came from unless he's also from the Ninja Turtles comic books I don't know I never read those So Shredder has his own version of the thousand, uh, thousand hand slap, the hundred hand slap from me Honda. This is the hundred fist punch. So we're on the same stage again. I guess it's not Casey Jones stage. I don't know. It's a power up as Shredder really needs it. And he really is shredding people with that fist attack there. Nice. Thank you. 
hothead reminds me of a character from Rampage. Probably Lizzie or whoever that shoots fire from his mouth. It's probably what Hot Hothead is, a freaking reject from Rampage. Oh man, I should not I'm over here talking smack and he's whooping me right here. Come on now, Shredder. Oh, it's a close one. Come on. Nice. Don't know how I did that, but pwned. What the heck? What is going on here? Okay, I think it's Shredder versus himself, and he's talking trash to himself. Hmm. What? The gray screen of death there. What the heck is this? Alright, I guess that's what I get for cheating here or picking shredder in story mode. It glitches out. So it freezes right here so I can't fight myself. That would have been epic. Shredder versus shredder. But no, you can't do that. Because it's glitching right here. So that's pretty lame. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Genesis version of Tournament Fighters. I first played this one in 94. I rented it, and man, I don't like this version really that much. But let me get another chance here. So, of course, it plays Original Turtles and... Oh, uh, sy sy syphilis? Who was that? April O'Neil, is a fighter on here? That's pretty interesting. Ray, who? And then, of course, ECW Jones. Of course, I'm going to pick him. And you find different planets here. Much different storyline than the NES and SNES versions. And the difficulty is BS. I put it on easy here. What? This blew myself up like an idiot. I put it on easy here, and it still plays like it's on freaking hard. Yeah, so we're in a Contra stage here. And I fight Clone Leo. What's with the Clone Turtles in this game? This is a weird. This is a weird Ninja Turtles game. Man, the voice and the chances don't sound right. And I just got pwned easily, man. That what? Garabaga! What the heck is that? Yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to do the bomb move. It won't do it. He keeps doing the taunt. No, 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 no. You're the loser. You're freaking losing. Oh my goodness. What is this? This is terrible. Finally did something there. Alright. Ah. Ah. No, I don't want to see an instant replay of me getting pwned. Alright, let's move on here. Who else am I going to pick here? Ray. What did he say? It eats something dirtbag. Even as a kid back then, I thought that was stupid. Round one, fight! Alright, let's see if Ray can do any better here. Not really. Ray Filet. Wow. Is this a made-up character in the game, or was he actually in the Ninja Turtles comic books or something? Because he was definitely not in a cartoon. At least not that I remember. Wow. That's pathetic. Round two, fight! Konami, what were you thinking, man? And yeah, I know I'm playing this game terribly. 
but seriously, like, just, the game looks weird, it's definitely not as good as the SNES version, and the difficulty is BS, seriously. Okay, we got a little domestic violence going on in here, we got Casey Jones versus April O'Neil, and, uh, he's, I think he's ticked off because she won't get in the kitchen. Well, April O'Neil says, this just in, I'm about to pony you. Wow, he got pwned, Casey. You get in the kitchen. All right, so look at this. See, I'm the difficulty level. I assume that's the difficulty level of one. And it's still, like, it acts like it's on five or something. Pick a different planet here. All right. Leo versus Clone Dawn. Looks like a. F-Zero stage in the background, or that stage in Turtles in Time where you're in the future. She's can at least win one round for crying out loud. Wow. Seriously. Well, Green, if what you want on your birthday was to see me get trolled, then you must be having the birthday of your life. What? Don Taylor versus himself. As you can see, I uh, put it to where you only win one round to advance, but I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do that. Jeez, I thought I was going to at least win one round. At least win one round. What? Hey, come and get me. Really? My goodness. Come on, Wrath. Feel my Wrath. Fail. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Step down. Ray Filet here again. Give him another chance. Go to a different place here. Mirage Planet. Round one, fight. Looks pretty cool. This time I'm facing Clone Mike. Ooh. What the heck? Did you use Airman's weapon on me? Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Ray. Jeez, I know it would help to study the moves list and stuff. But I really don't feel like it, honestly, for this game. And just a quick birthday present I want to throw together for uh, Green. Come on, jeez. Can I at least win one fight? No. Forget that. Let's move on to the best version of Tournament Potters. The, S S the SNES version. Now we're going to have some fun. Okay, that was cheese right there. Turtle Combat! Okay, now, this one I'm actually not going to play. I'm going to watch because it's much better to watch the CPU fight on the highest difficulty. I did this a lot when I was a kid. And I had a lot of fun watching the CPU play. And of course, I did play the game and beat it. But for this particular situation, for this video, it'd be better to be watched instead of watching me fail. Let's watch the CPU pwn. So, Raphael versus Dontello in the back alley. 
Definitely the best version of Tournament Fighters. The music, the sound, the challenge, controls, everything, storyline. Man, I love this game right here. I mean, this actually feels like a Ninja Turtles game. Unlike the Genesis version, for crying out loud. And NES version. I mean, seriously, this really has a Ninja Turtles feel. The Ninja Turtles charm. The Genesis version, my goodness, that was just garbage in my opinion. This, definitely, much more fun. Raphael's pony right here, man. Yeah, this is definitely one of the games I rented when I was a kid. Raphael Pone Zontello. Alright, who's next? I'm gonna watch Mike versus Ar Arm Armageddon or whatever his name is, freaking shark. My guess is they created him, because unless he's in the comic book series, I don't know, but... Arm gone. But he's doing some pony, though. Oh, man, he's... Wow. Arm gone. Showing he's for real. He smells blood. Oh wait, Mike's still alive. Oh, nice uh Ninja Turtles version of the Sharyuken there. Oh, and then Armgon does his own. Wait, what does it say? I think is it Armagon? Arm well up there it says Armagon, but I think just show the full name right there when he won. You know, they should have put a foot soldier in this game. It'd be cool to play as a foot soldier. Kind of like in Mario Kart, you play as a Koopa. A Koopa Trooper. It'd be cool they put a foot soldier you can play as in here. It'd be cool. They should put... See, that's Bebop in the background, too. Why couldn't they put Bebop Rocksteady in this game? And Casey Jones. You can't play as Casey Jones. That's the only thing that's bad about this game. Those things right there. It would be cool to play as Bebop Rocksteady... And Casey freaking Jones. Why did they put at least Casey Jones in the SNES version? No, they had to put him in the crappy NES and Genesis versions. Really, guys? No, they put, let's put Wingnut Armagon, two people, creatures never heard of, and this guy, War, and Aska. Who, who are these people? Come on, man. I don't know why they didn't put, like, the original Ninja Turtles characters in there. Bebop, Rocksteady. A, a foot soldier, Casey Jones, Krang. Put Krang in there. So, this version could have been much better, but it's still pretty fun. Still pretty cool. This could have been done a lot better, but I mean, still fun, and it's just uh, this part right here. It, it, I mean, it's fun to watch. Of course, you'd rather play it, but. There are times where I want to see who would win out of certain people fighting each other. I mean, at least Shredder's playable in the game. And also Master Splinter or, or Rat King, you know? Well, at least make them hidden characters or something. They could have done much better. I don't know why they want to have these characters that nobody really knows, but oh well. Anyway. Oh, wait. Man, that was a close one. Wait. Oh, wait. No, it's still going. It's still going. Wow, that was ECW. Five seconds left, Wingnut barely wins. I guess he's just winging it. Wingnut looks like a freaking crackhead. What the heck? Cool soundtrack also in this game. Uh, uh, this track right here is pretty cool.
Yeah, I should put Tatsu, the guy from uh, the Ninja Turtles movies, Shredder's right hand man, Tatsu. Yeah, put him in this game. That'd be pretty epic. You don't tell me they couldn't. They put him in freaking Hyperstone Heist. Another close one here. But Wingnut wins again, barely. Wow, that was a good fight. <laughs> Sounds annoying. Alright, next. Another person we don't know, Chrome Dome. I mean, who? Aska. Aska. Ask a question. I got a question. Uh, who is she? Round one. Fight! Alright, cool background here. Since 1969. Wow, they've been around that long. Oh, wow, electric power dropper. Again. What'd she say? Who saw the light? Again, man, he's spamming those power droppers. Again. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Pwned. Wow. Chrome Dome wins. Don't know who he is, but he's pony. Jeez. <laughs> Instead of him, why didn't they put? Why couldn't they put Metalhead in here? Come on. Let me cool they put Metalhead. In here, that that would've been freaking awesome right there. Well, he pwned, and let's see who's next here. Leonardo hasn't fought yet, and neither has Mikey. So let's see these two go at it. No stage. What's the no stage? Round one. Fight. What the heck? More like Chrono Trigger stage. That's a frog from Chrono Trigger. All right. Be funny just for the lols putting Vernon and Irma in the game. That'd be pretty cool. And the boss, Mr. Burns, or whatever. Oh, I forgot his name. The April O'Neil's boss. Yeah, Burns. Motion right here. Oh. Leonardo wins that one. Round two. Fight. What do you say? Dragon breath. Another close one. Oh, Mikey just chunks him over there. Oh, down to the wire. Oh, Leo's still, he's still alive. Not anymore. Well, he's not dead, but he lost, and Mikey barely won that one. Wow, this one's down to the wire. We go to the final round. Rising thunder. Rising 
like he's got power up. Oh, I didn't need it. Wow. Well, I think. Oh, he did. He did use it right there, actually. But he wins. Wow, that was a good fight right there. But Mikey prevails. And Raph and Don go at it. Jeez, this game is so much better than the Genesis version. Round one. All right, now we art museum here. Hey, it's Cal or Callie, whatever her name is from uh, one of the neutrinos from the cartoon. Mousers are cheering on. The, the, any of those Mousers would be better than having these other generics in the game. <laughs> kind of weird though, but kind of cool. Baxter Stockman would have been cool at the Fly version. Yeah, I mean, get, get, rid, get rid of Wingnut and replace him with Baxter Stockman. Yeah, and replace Armageddon or whatever his name is with uh, Leatherhead and then replace uh, see, War and whoever else with Bebop Rocksteady. I said that moment I asked, I just put April in here. Replace Metalhead. I mean, Chrome Dome with Metalhead. And so, yeah, I mean, this, and this game should, should, could have been much more epic. Round two. Then, then, I mean, I wouldn't say this game is epic, but it is good, especially if you're an Trolls fan. So. You know, tell me those people, the, you can't see them right now, but the people in the background over there, they don't know there's a fight going on. <laughs> you know, you need to be watching. But anyway. Nice. Raphael Pones, Dontello. Alright. Raph and Mikey. He's gonna win this one as we are now in the scrapyard. Round one. Fight. There's Baxter Stockman right there. No, they just make him a make him a background character. Man, come on, man. Jeez, so much better could have been done this game. And then one of one of Baxter's attacks could have been Mauser's those Mausers in the background just come in and and help attack, you know, it could have been a special attack or whatever. Oh, nice. That was close. Why is Baxter cheering for the turtles? Who's that over there on the right? I didn't get to see that. Oh, it says get back over there. Oh. Oh, it's Casey Jones. Yeah, see? Oh, no, let's make these people... Let's make these guys background characters. Jeez. All right, Mikey whooped Raph in that one. So now on to the third round. Who is the ultimate turtle? Who will become turtle soup? Man, after enduring the Genesis version, this is such a breath of fresh air. Oh, wow, Mikey woke a half. Wow. Alright, next. 
Wingnut versus Armagon in the scrapyard. Round one. Fight. Oh, I just picked this one. Ah, what the heck? Oh well. What was that? Boom Doctor. Jeez. At least these two are better than Ray Filet and Syphilis from the Genesis version, for crying out loud. Oh, it's like Angel right there for me. off making a comeback here Got him with ten seconds left. Round three. Fight. Oh, nice. Oh. Be an interesting fight. Baxter Stockman versus Wingnut because they can both fly. They're both freaking ugly. Of course, I have to root for Baxter. Oh, it's a close one here. Oh, Wingnut using this special attack and he pones Armagon. Okay, that Jaws reject just got pwned. Wingnut got that one. Time to find out who's the ultimate fighter in this game. Wingnut undefeated so far. It's Chrome Dome. Oh. This be interesting. Thunderdome. I wonder if that's Chrome Dome's stage. This is a dome. But anyway. Now I think this does not look like it would be Chrome Dome's stage. Oh man, you know that's <laughs> Chrome Dome, it seems like he, he probably can only win with that pile driver. Oh, again. Man, the Chrome Dome wrestle for RCW or something? Robot Championship Wrestling? <laughs> Finisher moves freaking electric paw dropper? Jeez. Round two. Fight. Wing that better do some spamming on, on of his own. He better spam the Boom Doctor or something. Uh oh, there he goes. Man, this stage rocks. Oh, he got him again. It should be the spinning electric pile driver. That'd be cool. A combination of Zangus pile driver with Chrome Dome's electricity. 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 What? What? Oh, there's something different there. Man, pwned the wingnut. All 
All right, now for the main event, who is the ultimate fighter in this game? Wingnut versus Shredder. I'm rooting for Shredder in this one. I think we've been to all the stages, have we? I don't know if we've been in to Metalworks. Let's find out. This could be Chrome Dome stage. Of course, the foot soldiers, you know the cheering for Shredder. Then again, maybe not, because he treats my crap. Oh, got him again, man. Did, did he just do the bison double stomp? Oh, wow. Man, again. Wow, he just pwned Shredder. I think they all sound the same when they die, except for the woman. I'm not sure. Wah! Then again, we haven't heard Chrome Dome lose yet. I don't know. I don't know how he sounds like. Round two. They don't sound like Shredder though. Wah! Come on. He'd be more like. Ugh! Again with the pile driver. Jeez. Oh. Oh, man. That's it. Wow. Chrome Dome wins. Best fighter in the game? I don't know, because he kept spamming that same move pretty much over and over, but... No, well, he won, and... So that's the end of my LP of all three Tournament Fighter games, uh, TMNT Tournament Fighter games. So hopefully, Green, you enjoy this. Lols, happy birthday. And yeah, as far as these games are concerned, NES version, not very good. It's meh. Probably give that a 5 out of 10. Genesis version sucks. I give that like a 3 or 4 out of 10. SNES version rocks. I would give that a 8 out of 10. So I definitely recommend the SNES version above all else, above the other two by far. All right, guys, that is it. I am out of here. Once again, happy birthday, Green. Hopefully you're having a great birthday today. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.